In this video, I am going to show you how to use migration feature in Entity Framework code first development. I'll create a simple console application and we'll add a student model and then a DB context in the project. So let's get started by creating a new project here. And in Visual C subsection, I'll click on console application and then click on OK button. It will add a brand new console application in your project. And we are going to use Entity Framework. So first of all, uh, I need to install Entity Framework libraries in my project because I am using console application. I am not using MVC4 uh, so that I, I will get the pre-installed Entity Framework libraries. I am using console so I need to install the Entity Framework libraries. So to install Entity Framework library, I need to write here install package entity framework and this will add all required entity framework libraries in this console application and you, you can see there is entity framework 5.0 libraries is installed in my project you can see here in the solution explorer there is a reference directory and inside this you will see there is data entity and data annotations libraries that is that comes with the entity framework libraries now I need a model as I am going to show you migration using code first so I need here a data model so let's create it public class student drop tab tab int student id drop tab tab string tab tab name drop tab tab string tab tab dress drop tab tab string tab tab phone and now add some validations in this project uh, for the name field here I'll add it as required required resolve difference here max length to 20 Oops. for the address field make it required and leave it and for phone number field make it also required and add some regular expression that user can only enter numerics value here regular expression and and this is a regular expression we use for numeric only field and max length to 11 digit and I'm all done with the student model now let's go ahead and add DB context for this model public class student context inherited from DB context DB context system dot data dot entity public db set to a student student that is model and then db context is a db set name a student a students plural just get set let's go ahead and add some code in main so that it inserts some data the database using had db equals new student context db dot students dot add new student and name for the student will be new 
एस बुकारो फोन नंबर टू and then db.save changes save changes so this line of code will add a new record in the database and this will save the changes now to show the records inserted in database i will create a for each loop here var i in db.students console dot right line i dot name and then uh, space here and again i dot address and then i dot phone now to see the result on console window i need right here some line some more line that will pause the screen console dot a key and i'm done now i'm ready to run the application this application will go ahead and create the database and will also insert the single record and make changes save let's run the project and you can see on the screen there is a record that we have inserted right here as in the new caro and the mobile number and it is also separated by hyphen keys that we have written here in console dot pipeline so now where is the database let's go ahead and check the database in the server explorer you can see there is a database it is not related to this project i need to add it add a connection I'll connect it to local db and the version is 11.0 select the database the database name probably will be something like student context here console application 3 dot student context test the connection ok and click on ok So this is the database created for this project. Let's go ahead and show the data. Click on show the data so that we can see there is a single record where maybe, yes, there is a given name. And we can also see the structure of the database. It's open table definition. Now try to compare the data, this database from the model there is a student ID. Look in the database, there is also a student ID and it is identity field. It is one by one increment here. And then there is a name field, max length is 20. You can see it, name field and in varchar max length is 20 also. Your phone number to 11 size and there is. Now let's go ahead and make some changes in the model. And we'll try to uh, run the application. Uh, I'm going to change its max length, name max length to 22 and I'm going to run it again. I'll probably see the error because I'm not using migration feature because model is changed and database is still the same. So there is a recommendation to use code first migration so that our application can run up. We can get the older records we have that we have inserted. So I stop this application and open the NuGet console. So to enable the database code first migration, I need to write here enable migrations and press enter. This process will add some, some files in your project. Let's go ahead and check it. There is a folder that is newly created and inside this there is an initial create class file and configuration. If you open the initial create, you will see there is up and down method. 
in the app there is create table method with the following fields student id name address phone and in the down drop table means if, if we go to the initial create to down this will drop this process will drop the table and if you go to initial create with the up method this will create a table with following fields now once you enable the code first migration in your project you need to type add migration and its name add we have increased the size of the name 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 size here so I'll add a name size right so I'm going to create a new class file with this command add migration and the name will be add name size if you press enter you will get a new class file and this will check changes you made in model by comparing to the database current state of database so in the up here you can see there is now the max length size is 22 and in the down max length size is 20 yes so now I am ready to save these changes to database and for this I need to open console manager and write here update database before updating it look at the database once open table definition you will see there is 20 size right close it and in the console manager write update database and click enter and I'm done go ahead and look at the table definition again you will see there is size 22 so you can see using code first migration I am able to update my database now if you run this project again I'm going to comment it before before running it because there will be some duplicate record if I run this again so run this project I probably will see my earlier record yes I'm able to see it now let's go ahead and make some more changes like add a new field right drop that tab is doing right now again if I run the project I'll get the error because there is no any field like gender in the database so again I need to run add migration and the name will be uh, add gender right I'll execute this it will bring a new class file with up and down method there will be a gender field and in the down gender will be dropped so let's go ahead and update the database and look at the database structure table structure here table definition you can see there is a gender field if you look at the solution explorer there will be add name size class and add gender class so what if I want to go back to add name size means I'm using to drop this ignore these changes add change. so to do this I again need to open the console and we need to write update database and we need to specify the target migration name means the name being used here in the migration folder target migration and the name add name size if you name it and copy the name and paste it here and press enter and yes again open the solution in server explorer and look at the table definition you will see there is no longer gender field But before running this project in the database we don't have gender field you will need to comment it or uh, erase this line run the project again and you, you can see the records one more thing what uh, if you don't have control over the database means you need to create a, a sql file and pass it to the dba so that he can execute against the database 
so how will you create the script file from the this database structure so for this open the new open the console manager here and type a command here update database get the script and source migration will be initial database and the target migration will be name or add name size right because we are running at this stage paste it here and execute this command you will see a query file right here you, now you can pass this query file to your DBA and your DBA will execute this command on the database server so in this video we learned lots of things about the migration code first migration I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much